Good morning, my name is Lynn. Thank you for joining me this morning for your first 20. Today is day 26 of reading through the book of Acts and our scripture passage for this morning is found in Acts chapter 14 verses 19 through 28. As I read this passage of scripture, I was reading it through the lens of what does it look like for me to grow strong in my relationship with Jesus. So I, I invite you to do the same as, as you read through it this morning. But there were two things that, that stood out to me, and I'm sure there's more, but two things stood out to me today in regards to what does it look like for us to grow strong in our relationship with Jesus. And the first thing was Paul, the first, the first thing is, is focus and inten being intentional. And Paul was on a mission. He was on a mission to share the gospel. And much like Jesus, we read in John 6, verse 39, where we see Jesus say, For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Much like Jesus, Paul is about accomplishing the assignment that Jesus has given him. And we see that assignment in Acts 9, verse 15, where it says, This man, meaning Paul, is my chosen instrument to carry my name. So Paul has been set apart from birth and called by God's grace. We, we read that in Galatians 1, 15 and 16, so that he might preach among the Gentiles. So the second thing is difficulties. Paul was focused and intent on sharing the gospel and he wasn't about to let anything stop him. But saying that he encountered difficulties is putting it lightly. He was beaten and stoned and pretty much left for dead. But he, with each difficulty, um, he just kept going. He didn't let that stop him. He remembered that he had been called, set apart, chosen by God to carry his name. And as he did that, we see that he won a large number um, of disciples. In a few days, we're going to read in chapter 20 that nothing gets in the way um, for Paul with his mission. And in chapter 20, verse 24, we'll read, it says, but none of these things move me. He was not going to allow the difficulties or the struggles to get him off course, and his life reflected that. So what does it look like for you and me to continue to grow strong in our relationship with Jesus? The first thing is, like Paul, we need to remain focused and intentional that we have been given a mission by Jesus. We have been given an assignment, and that assignment is to carry his name. And we carry his name to the different places that we experience throughout our day, to our, in our homes, in our workplace, throughout our day to those that we encounter. Growing strong looks like remembering that we have been each given an assignment by God. And it looks different. It looks different for each one of us. There's not many things that we can be sure of in this life, but one thing for sure is that we will encounter struggles and difficulties. And God allows those to strengthen us for our faith muscles to grow stronger and remembering that when we encounter those struggles that he has promised to be with us and to never leave us. So as you continue in your first 20 today, spend time reflecting on that truth that God has chosen you, that he has set you apart, that he has called you by his grace to carry his name and reflect also on the truth that whatever difficulty or struggle you may find yourself in the midst of, that he is right there in the midst of it with you and that he promises never to leave you or forsake you, that he's always with you. And let me also just say that in the days that we're living in, um, you may be experiencing some weariness. I know that I have at times. And the thought of growing strong in our relationship with God may seem more like a task um, than, than anything else that we just don't have the energy for. And if it's that, if that's you, can I just encourage you to just spend time with Jesus today. Just sit in his presence and allow his love for you to just wash over you. As we rest 
in his presence. He will give us his strength to keep going as we grow in our walk with him. Have a blessed day.